Hey there, Aiden here from Core Electronics and today we're going to take a quick look at integrating OctoPrint into our Cura 2.6 application on Windows 10. It's a pretty quick process and we'll just run through what OctoPrint is before we dive into how to do that process on the PC here. So OctoPrint's essentially just a printer server and we run that usually using one of these guys here which is a small Raspberry Pi board. So we load that operating system called OctoPi onto an SD card, we plug it into our Raspberry Pi, plug our printer right here, plug our printer into the USB ports on the Raspberry Pi, initialize our printer and we can control it using the network connection, which is either wireless or wired with a Raspberry Pi. However, we always have to log in to our OctoPrint server and then upload our G code or our STL and then slice here, or of course just start the G code file. What a new feature that we've included or that has been included into Cura is the ability to link with your OctoPrint server within Cura and that way you have the ability to connect directly to your printer via your OctoPrint server, which is pretty cool. So we'll jump over on the computer now and we'll take a look at the process of linking your version of Cura with the OctoPrint server you've got running at home. So if you're totally confused by what I've been talking about when it comes to OctoPi and OctoPrint and even Cura, we've got a couple of guides that I'll link in the description below that will get you up to speed on those two things. So follow along with those if you haven't already. Uh, once you're up to speed with that, we're gonna log on to our OctoPrint server, which is done through our browser, which I'll do on the computer here now. So essentially we jump over here and we're logged in to our Lulzbot Mini's OctoPrint server, but the Mini's here, it's not actually connected, but we can move right past that. And essentially we have the connection state and the files available for us to print. And then we've got a few different tabs here that we can see with our printer that we can go through. But none of that's important to us right now. We just need to be logged in, which is something that you do when you set up your OctoPrint server. So I've logged in here and you can see that little username up there. Now, if we direct ourselves over to Cura, we can see that I've got this massive octopus um, on the bed in Cura, and over here I've got my Lulzbot Mini selected. Now if I go to the Manage Printers option, I can see that we've got all of our list of printers here. On other PCs around Core Electronics, I'd have all of our printers listed here, but on this one we've just got the Mini. And I can click on Connect OctoPrint, so that's what we're going to be doing today. Now, as I've got Bonjour Print Services installed on Windows, I can actually see my host names right here in this list. So this goes ahead and pretty much adds them into this list for me. If you guys haven't got that installed, it's part of one of the guides, but I'll just show you right here. Pretty much Google Bonjour Print Services for Windows, and the first link will be an apple.com download link. So you go there, download it, install it, and then restart your computer really quickly and it will give you the option to just select your host name directly in this list here. It's a really good idea. So like I said, we're doing the mini single extruder, which is that top one there. Let me go here. It's called the Lulzbot Mini Single Extruder. It's the one that we want. And it even tells me the IP address if I wanted to quickly verify that. So we've got automatically start print, print job after uploading and show webcam image, both of those enabled. And I can even click on open in browser if I want and it'll quickly bring it up. So all I need is the API key to get access to that version of OctoPrint. And the only way to get that API is to be logged into your OctoPrint server, to go to the settings menu right here, and then go down to API. We've got the API here. I can click on copy to clipboard. I drop back over here, connect. And there we go, we're connected to OctoPrint. So what I'm gonna do now is really quickly duck off, plug this mini in, plug it into the OctoPrint server, and we'll see everything operational. Alrighty, so I've taken my Lulzbot mini from in here with me, and I've gone out there and I've plugged it into the OctoPrint server that's set up for it, that we've connected to here. Now what I can do is, if I go to here, I can see that I've followed all my steps from that tutorial. I go to my version of Cura and I know that I've connected it to my printer there. And up in the top right hand corner of the screen here, you can see that there's the print monitor, there's a little tick there. If I click on that, it will show me that I'm connecting to the printer here. And it'll actually give me a live representation of the build plate, hot end, blah, 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 which is fantastic. I can even click on open OctoPrint and it takes me straight to my OctoPrint server, which is great. But if we go back to our model view, 
real quickly go to Polylight PLA, which is what we had loaded in. And yeah, just make sure everything's fit. Let's just reset it. There we go. So we go through the normal slicing process. You can do this with any, um, any model that you'd like. And now you can see down in the bottom corner here, ready to print with Octoprint. So we click on that drop down box. I can still save it to file if I wanted to print it um, to a different printer, or I can just go straight for the ready to print with Octoprint button. Now what happens if I click that? It takes me over here, takes me to the screen here, and I can see down the bottom, we've got that little dialogue there. So it's printing at 0% and the build plate's starting to temp up. But to be sure, we can actually open our Octoprint, go in here, and there you go. The Lulzbot Mini G code is there for the Roctopus, and I can see that the target temperatures have been set, and the print is starting. So I'm print, um, that way I'm printing directly to my Octoprint server, nowhere in the world. And yeah, that's pretty much the process behind linking up your Octoprint server to Cura 2.6. If you have any questions on the process, feel free to leave a comment below. Bear in mind that Cura 2.6 is still being developed by the guys over at ALEF Objects, so this process may change in the future, but if it does, we'll stay on top of it and keep you guys notified. So thanks for watching guys, have a great day, and all the best with your projects.